Hi, I'm Dara Breen. I'm here at the British Library for the 30th anniversary celebration of the Royal Society Science Book Prize. There is truly great writing that is founded in these principles of science. What the Science Book Prize does is it brings great books and great stories, the best of the best, and displays them to the public in all their shining allure. I've judged them twice with over a hundred books and uh, I enjoy that tremendously. It's a difficult business because by the time you start reading you realise there are rather a lot of good books out there. To be shortlisted was amazing, but then to win... I was astonished, astonished to find myself on the shortlist. I felt deeply honoured. It certainly gave a legitimacy, I suppose, to my science writing. I mean, you really can't have more of a gravitas than winning a prize from the Royal Society. I think that storytelling is such an art, yeah. and, 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 yeah. and you learn it off other storytellers, don't you? You learn it reading great books. You, do you think that you, and you collectively scientists, have a responsibility to try to communicate science? I think you need to inspire and enthuse. And if I've managed to inspire and enthuse, then I'm happy. Science writing is the essential middle ground between the actual work of research and the understanding of the public. Because science journals, by their nature, have to be technical. But that bridge from what they do has to be done by science communication. You take subjects which are a little bit niche and you humanise them, you add narrative, you, you bring them to a much wider audience. Science writing takes something that's incredibly exciting, that's full of adventure, exploration, curiosity, and brings it alive. It must be the case that learning about nature teaches us about ourselves and how we should behave. But um, the, the best science books, I think, make that connection. Attempting to write about science has completely expanded the way I look at the world because of trying to explain the nature of science and scientific observation, and I'm hugely grateful for that. I work for a company called Insight Investment. One of the reasons why we sponsor the prize is to inspire young people to pick up a science discipline. It's one of the books on the list, Language of the Genes by Steve Jones, that was the reason I became a geneticist. To encourage good science writing I think is enormously important because that's one of the, the main ways of communicating science to non-scientists, which I think is vital for the future of humanity. In terms of the significance of the Book Prize, it is unmatched. 